Okay, which of the following is the most likely underlying cause of this patient's intracerebral hemorrhage? Um, so 55-year-old man with a history of uncontrolled hypertension presents to the emergency room with a sudden onset of left-sided weakness and slurred speech. Um, a non-contrast CT scan shows a small intracerebral uh, hemorrhage in the right basal ganglia. Choices, amyloid angiography, angiopathy, AV malformation, Charcot-Bouchard, ruptured saccular aneurysm. Um, so, let's see. Just based off of the word intracerebral hemorrhage, I would imagine that something like So you're on the right track. So, yeah. You know, um, you're on the right track. So intracerebral means inside, right? Yes. So you can probably rule out. So is this acute or chronic? It's uh, acute. Acute, right? So you can cross out everything that's chronic, right? Amyloid angiopathy. Is that acute or chronic usually? I think that's chronic. Yeah. Chronic. AV malformation. Um, what is an AV malformation now that we have that answer to us? I think it's like a bunch of different, um, like almost angiogenesis. Yeah, it's a little bit of incorrect angiogenesis. Um, so if you think about it, I mean, I always draw this for my students, but you know, this is, I don't remember where I saw this diagram, but you know, vascular diagram, right? So you have your venous system that goes into your capillary system that goes into your um, arterial system. Wait, hold on. What the heck am I talking about? Arterial system into capillary system into venous system. Okay. Um, so fresh blood, right, comes into your capillaries, right? And then your capillaries will diffuse out to kind of your tissue, right? And then unoxygenated blood will drain through the venous site, right? AV malformation just means that there's an arterial, there's a, a bypass of the capillaries, right? So arterial straight to venous, which is an AV malformation. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Um, but remember, right, um, when you're dealing with clinical standpoint, right, I'm thinking of a middle old, uh, middle aged man, right, with uncontrolled hypertension. So th this diagnosis should be related to hypertension, right? So is AV malformations dealing with um, hypertension a lot of times or not really? No. Not really, right? So probably not going to be our answer choice, right? Cerebral venous sinus thrombosis. What does that mean? Um, not sure. I guess it's like, um, the sinus thrombosis. So, so is it, I guess my question is it, um, what kind of symptoms do you usually see? Is it going to be, you know, a hemorrhage or what, what does it get? What does it mean to have a, a venous sinus thrombosis? Right. So in your mind, you're like, okay, sorry, going back to this, um, this drawing, right. I always have this in my mind when I deal with um, arteries, capillaries, venous system. So a venous sinus thrombosis just means a clot right here, right? Right, but there's no hemorrhage. Yeah, so it's gonna be kind of, um, when you have venous congestion, right? The tissue is gonna be swollen, right? Because mm -hmm. you can't drain the blood, right? It's gonna be swollen, it's, it, it's gonna bleed a lot if you prick it, right? And it's gonna be you know hot and, and usually like purple, right? Right. So the brain is going to swell, but usually it's not going to cause hemorrhage, right? It's just going to, the brain is going to swell full of blood. Does it make sense? Yes. So in my mind, that's really kind of what I'm thinking when I'm thinking cerebral venous sinus thrombosis. And it's usually not, you know, these are not the symptoms that go with it, right? So unlikely is going to be this, right? So now you get it to this charcot bouchard microaneurysm versus ruptured saclear aneurysm. So I guess the question is, what, what are you feeling like is the most likely answer? Um, Charcot Bouchard, but okay, so let's go with this and see. Kind of, let's learn together, okay? Yeah, so that ends to be the right answer. And now, kind of, let's figure out what's the difference between the two, right? So, Charcot Bouchard engine, uncontrolled history, and it's going to be kind of deeper inside the basal ganglia area, okay? Um, and of course, if that pops, then you're going to have bleeding, right? And then you have kind of that rupture saccular aneurysm, the ballooning and weak artery of a cerebral artery rupture. The aneurysm usually causes a subarachnoid damage, not an intra 
cerebral hemorrhage. So this is a way bigger rupture. Okay. Right. So that's the difference. And this is the one that they call a thunderclap headache. All right. Does it make sense how we, I want, I, I'm trying to show you, you can break these down, right? You can really break these down further. Right. Um, and to make it easier on yourself. Right. Mm -hmm.